Wild Blossom Meadery and Winery is a hidden gem of the South Side, open for tastings and events every day. Joining us now to teach us all about mead and why it's the most sustainable wine on earth is president and founder Greg Fisher. Greg, thanks so much hey, for being thanks here. Thanks for inviting me down. It's Love the great. shirt, too. Yeah, it's all about the bees. <laughs> Yellow, black, and for the bees. So for people who don't know, what is mead? So mead is fermented honey. It's okay. actually uh, it, where both wine and beer came from for about... 2,000 years before wine and beer was ever invented, mm -hmm. uh, all alcoholic beverages were based on honey. Oh, okay. Oh. So then you have just brought back something that's Some, been around ancient, for a long time. Yeah, and then when they found out how to make wine out of grapes and beer out of grain, it was easier and cheaper. Not as good, but easier and cheaper. So that took off, and mead kind of got forgotten. Oh. Um, but it's all, you know, mead comes from the flowers. It's, you know, instead of raising grapes, we raise honeybees. Mm -hmm. Instead of vineyards, we have wildflower fields or, mm. you know, flower gardens. Which makes it more sustainable. A hundred percent. You know, to make one bottle of mead, the bees pollinate two million flowers, wow. which turns into 40 million new seeds, which makes more flowers, more mead, and okay, it's just, see, it's, that's a, what it's, it's a cycle about. of nature the cycle in the of bottle. life, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, so we're going to try a couple. What are we going to try first? Yeah, we're going to try a, it's called Blanc de Fleur, means white of the flower. Okay. And it's a basically, um, very, you know, people think, oh, it's honey, it's going to be sweet. Yes, this that, is, that was my next this question. This is actually a little bit sweet, but it's, uh, thank you. But it's, it's, it's almost like a Pinot Grigio, if you're familiar oh, with Pinot Grigio. Yeah, okay. yeah. You know, something like, you know, has that, that real floral, you know, uh, Real Ooh. nice flavor, okay. you know, That's so you, you get, mm -hmm. and it comes from the nectar of the flower. So depending on what the bees are working, we raise bees all throughout Chicago. Okay. Mm -hmm. Depending on what flower the bees pick up, the honey's going to taste different and the mead will taste different. Okay, oh. so every bottle has probably got a surprise in a, it for you. A little you. bit. So this is called a traditional mead, just honey. There's okay. Nothing, there's no grapes in there. It's just, just, mm -hmm. just honey. Mm. Honey, honey, water, and yeast. It's a very simple natural product. Mm. Okay, that's delicious. We're going to try yeah. a little uh, hibiscus mead. So this Ooh, is, if, now you, that if, sounds exciting. if you come to our meadery, you'll, we grow hibiscus flowers all throughout the uh, our gardens. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, actually very similar to uh, the Mexican drink, Hormica. Okay. And it's uh, very nice. It's floral, it's herbal, and has a little tartness to it. Oh, I like Ooh, that. That's good. Yeah. Ooh, so I like mead, that too. Mead is the ultimate craft because we do hibiscus mead, we do a blueberry mead, we do a chocolate mead, Ooh, and we do got a, her. I just yeah. there. And we have a hot chili pepper mead. Ooh. So it's just, um, you know, a great, you know, I, I call it my palate that I, I'm, you know, my artist, I can create all these different beverages. Where are you keeping all these bees? <laughs> Actually, we have some bees right in Beverly. Okay. And Beverly has gardens throughout, and we get some just ex the best, some of the best honey in the world right mm -hmm. out of Beverly. Mm -hmm. The back of our uh, meadery is the Dan Ryan Woods. So we oh, have 300 yes. acres of forest. We have bees down in Pullman. We have bees out in Morton Arboretum. We have, okay, so these some real South Side bees. Yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely okay. South Side bees. Okay. You know, this is all female produced because all the workers in a hive are all female. Oh, <laughs> you know, those women, we always work hard, you know? All right, what's this one, what's this you last you one here? Blueberry? Mm -hmm. Yeah, now we're gonna do the blueberry. Now, what's interesting about the blueberries, since, you know, global warming has been changing everything around, our bees haven't been making it through the winter, so we bring our bees down to Florida every year. Oh, oh. they get their snowbirds. They're, they're, they're they're snowbirds. Get out of here. <laughs> and bees when they're down in Florida, uh, in the springtime, when the blueberries uh, blossom in mm. Michigan, we truck them up to Michigan and then they pollinate for the grower and the grower gets 30, 40% more blueberries. Oh, and then he pays yeah. us back in blueberries. So our bees actually pollinate the berries that those are made out of. Wow, oh, this, this, this is, is cool. amazing. I never thought that. Yeah, yeah. this is really cool. It, it, okay, it, so you got some harder stuff yeah, over there. That's really good. That's a really good. Yeah. Okay. Now let's let's jump over to just to give you let's do a little chocolate meat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just to get you a little chocolate. We'll grab you a couple more mm -hmm. glasses here. So when you come to our meadery, you can actually get a flight. Of, yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. You have so this, 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 Yeah, this is a flight, and we're gonna pour you a little chocolate. And, and that beautiful there. backdrop of the of the For, preserve right behind you. Yeah, they basically uh, we got named, you know, uh, the hidden gem of the South Side because yeah. it's beautiful. You have this outdoor gardens. Oh, I smell you the chocolate. You can sit back there. We have the mm -hmm. uh, Major mm -hmm. Taylor bike trail going right through our backyard mm. so you can go biking, yeah. you can go hiking, you can just, uh, we have weddings all the time there. Oh, so it's nice. great, actually so this weekend's pretty. a wedding. Okay, so how do you keep people from killing the bees? Right. Cause you know, well, people are very yeah, afraid Well, of bees. we keep the bees away from people so yes. we don't keep them too so much. Don't and bees don't really, you know, bees are interested in working. They're interested in pollinating. That's their 
their thing. And that's what's great about meat. It actually supports the honeybees. So it's, you know, one, you know, two, one bite of every three bites of food we take comes from honeybees. And if the bees go away, we're in, we're trouble. in trouble. And you guys actually, for folks who don't know a lot about meat, have a nice membership uh, program. Yeah, you can, you get, you know, every quarter you get four different exclusive meads, you know, made with all different, you know, rare honeys that we produce. Because not, we don't, we get special honeys from different regions and we don't have enough for everybody so the mead club gets that. That's hey, so cool. You say this makes a nice mixer because I heard you make a meaderita. Yeah, yeah, we make meter, a meaderita with meter a hibiscus and a little a little bit of a Don Julio Ooh. and a little lime and it's really a nice little, oh, little mixer. Why like do that. we not know more about this? I feel like this is such a such a it's, wonderful it idea. It just got forgotten. Really? And you know the craft of making mead is, is special. It's got to kind of got lost and you know, not every mead can be great. You really got to know how to form it. I've been doing mead for about 25, 30 years now, and we finally got to where we're really making it nice. And you've been with bee, working on with bees since you were six. Yeah, six, six yeah, years old. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we also uh, produce a canned mead, oh. which is actually a little lighter. It's like a, uh, we call this a ginger mule. And, um, like as in a Moscow mule? Yes, yeah, like a Moscow mule. And wow. it's really oh, has man. a nice, now this is a, a little lighter, uh, about 6%. So I bet okay. people have a great so, time when they come. Yeah, and is oh, there also food? Yes, we do. Uh, we do gourmet uh, cauliflower crust pizzas, all gluten free. Mm. Oh, that is and, so and, nice. And you know, we, we sell this over at Whole Foods and oh, that's just delicious and too. Like yeah. So, you know, every flower makes different honey. We have got all these beautiful flavors, and we just enhance it through the mead. Well, Greg, this is amazing. We want to make sure that folks go out and, and check it out because you saw the video, of the location. It is just beautiful out there. Go, mm -hmm. go help the bees by drinking some mead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. Do we have time for the hot chili pepper? Yes, meat? you pour the hot chili so pepper. I'm going to read this one really quick so people know where to find you on South Hermitage <laughs> Avenue. Uh, Wild Blossom Meadery at the social media handles. WildBlossomMeadery.com is the website where you can also join uh, the membership club. Okay. Ooh, this one's got a skull. Yeah, this might go really good with the, uh, the oxtails. Ooh, this oh, is okay. Really, this okay, is so you really, fill in those oxtails really too, spicy huh? spicy style mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right here. So it's an mm -hmm. Ooh, some I'm heat. afraid Give of some this. Give me some heat. Ooh, yeah, it's like peppers. Chili, ancho, marita, and japonaise. This would make a good margarita too. That would be, yeah, Ooh. a spicy margarita. Yeah. Is yeah. Woo! Ooh, I like these. Yeah, this is fun. All right, thank you so much. Home for probably Thanksgiving would be our apple cinnamon. This apple is cinnamon. this is like an apple pie in a we glass. Gotta check out Wild Blossom Meadery so and Winery. This can be. Okay. We're serving this chilled, but this can be served hot in the oh, winter. So we right. usually serve this hot with a little bit of caramel, mm, okay. and um, it's just wonderful. Oh, that's all right. fun. All right, we're getting wrapped up. Thank you. We could all be right. here all day. Thank you, Greg.